expect your child to be able to be up at 5 in the morning while it's dark outside? That's a question Sakenya Jarrett of Price Hill did not expect to be asking a few weeks before Cincinnati Public School students head back to class. Now that Metro plans to stop offering direct routes to schools like Walnut Hills, where Jarrett has a 10th grade daughter, questions about new pickup places and transfers are top of mind. School started at 7.30, so she would have to be up at the bus at least 5 in the morning to get downtown to get a bus to Wanna Hills High School. Jared says if she hadn't already figured out a different way to get her kids to school, the new plan sort of suddenly announced Tuesday would be too much, especially for her 13-year-old daughter. We have one to go to Performing Arts, so literally she would have to get up early enough to get the 33 to get down in town and walk from Government Square because there's no bus to go from Government Square to Performing Arts. If you're talking about hundreds of kids at Government Square every day, CPS board member Mike Morosky says he had no idea Metro buses would stop taking students directly to and from school, as has been the case for years, until SORTA announced its new approach yesterday, three weeks before school starts. Give us a year's notice, at least. This is a huge change for families that you can't give three weeks notice for. It's huge. In separate statements released late this afternoon, SORTA indicated the bus route changes are due to a lack of bus drivers and the need to make sure students have reliable service. But CPS's superintendent wants SORTA to find a way to restore those direct bus routes to and from the district school buildings. Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.